There's been a lot of talk on the group lately about resistance soldering and while I would love to buy a resistant soldering unit I can't see spending five or six hundred dollars on something that I use rare, rarely. Um, so what I did was I, I uh, did some looking on the internet and I found a guy that uh, made his own out of a soldering gun and I did the same thing and it works great. Now I've already I've already soldered the keepers on this bezel to hold the glass in and I'm going to do two more. Now what I did first was I took the pieces and I I tinned them so that they would work a little better. Alright, and then what I do is I use some some flux and just put a little bit of flux on the spot and first what I did was I went around it and I, I pre-bent these tabs so that they so that they fit the angle uh, pretty good and then uh, I just lay this rag on here for safety reasons. I have this soldering iron. It's a 300 watt. Actually it's 250 watts. And I cut the tip off to separate them. And then I hold this up against there and push making sure both of those contacts are against that tab. I turn it on, it sizzles, and make sure that that, that solder melted and I leave go while still holding it in place. And there you go. Now I have one more to do. I'm going to do that one. Put my flux on. Put a little pencil mark there so I knew where I wanted to do this. Get another tab. Put the tab in there. Put this up against. Push. Press the button. I don't know if you could see that smoke or not. I have a little smoke eater here at my table. I found out I had to do that pretty quick. that smoke eater because unfortunately in my shop uh, when I set up my soldering station I wasn't thinking very well and I set my soldering station up right below the smoke detector for the house so every time I soldered every smoke detector in the house went off so there we go we got all my tabs are all my tabs are, are in place. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And you cannot you cannot see anywhere on the rim of where I soldered. 
So that's a cheap old method of doing resistance soldering and uh, kind of pleased with that. I think that's going to work out pretty cheap. I can buy I can buy an awful lot of these soldering tips for five or six hundred dollars. But I do think you need 250 to 300 watts. My other gun, my brand new one, is, uh, is a dual wattage. It's a 200 and a 300. But I decided to use this one because it was just an old one that I had laying around. Uh, perhaps the 300 would even did a nicer job, but I'm real pleased. You don't even see any solder oozing on anywhere. It just tacked them fast and looks pretty good. Thank you.